Hello, welcome back. Uh, I have news. I have updated uh, Sparrow online version with the new release. And uh, one of the key functionalities is that I updated Vision backend models. Uh, now default model uh, will be uh, Mistral small 3.1 uh, with 8-bit contentization. And uh, this will be a default model, and also there will be option to select uh, uh, another model uh, for your testing, uh, which will be uh, Q1 2.5 uh, 72 uh, billion uh, model quantized with 4-bit contentization. All of this runs on uh, my local uh, MLX uh, machine, Mac Mini uh, M4 uh, uh, Pro machine with 64 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, uh, once you'll be uploading the document for the inference, uh, after inference is done, it's all removed automatically. So for the privacy, for the privacy reasons, obviously. And another important thing that now I'll allow uh, free tire access uh, with some limitation, like uh, free calls uh, per six hours and maximum free page documents. Uh, but uh, this will allow uh, someone who would like to quickly test how uh, SPAR works, just upload the document and see the result. Right? And then if you're interested for more, then you can uh, get in touch and we can discuss uh, how I could help you uh, with some additional tasks. So let's uh, see how it works. And this is on sparrow.katana.ml.io. This is accessible to anyone. And like I mentioned, uh, this, there is a message to, which describes uh, free tire. It says that you can run Sparrow without entering the key. Now I entered it just for the demonstration purpose here. And uh, if you are executing it without key, you have three calls per six hours and maximum. Uh, you can uh, run inference uh, for the uh, PDF document with the three pages. For limited usage, you can uh, drop me an email and um, open for the consulting work, uh, for the professional consulting work and implementation services like uh, how, uh, your Sparrow, how Sparrow can be integrated into your environment, for example, uh, how Sparrow maybe uh, can be extended to uh, support your custom requirements. So all those custom implementation and development work I could do. And uh, if you see requirement for that, uh, feel free to get in touch and then we can have a call and we could discuss how uh, I could help and how I could work uh, with your company. Okay, so now let's see how this works. And I upload uh, sample receipt uh, and here we've got some items with the prices. And the strong part of uh, Sparrow is that you can specify the query. Uh, let me run it first and okay, we can see it executes, so it's good. And uh, the in the query you can specify the structure and the fields that you would like to get in the response. So for example here I specify that I want to get list of items and everything which goes between square brackets. Uh, this is the list or table data that will be fetched. And uh, in our case, this is the list of uh, items from here. Right, and this will be description of type string and price of type float. And then we got uh, square brackets are closed. This means uh, everything which goes here, this will not be part of list, but uh, this will be uh, simply the field reported outside of the list because total obviously doesn't belong to the table. Right, and we got back the response. So we can see list of items. Uh, we got four items. Then we can see that uh, all of them were correctly extracted. Then we got prices. And there's a total 13.16, which is this one, which is correct as well. And out of the box, Sparrow runs validation for the response to make sure that the response uh, is valid against the query. And in this case, the structure of the response is valid and uh, returns true. Okay, uh, yeah, so we can see the query once again. We got a table in this case with a list of fields to be included in the table response and with types. A description is a string, price is a float, and then outside of the table we also want to report total, so it goes outside and uh, we specify total is also float. 
and if we don't select validation off, then by default uh, response will be automatically validated uh, to make sure that it's valid against the query schema that we were uh, using to uh, to retrieve the answer. This additional option, which uh, is provided by Sparrow, tables only. Uh, this is useful when you have a large page and you are not interested to uh, in any other data, but uh, there's a table inside. And if you specify tables only, then Sparrow will, uh, by using transfer table transformers model, it will try to identify coordinates of the table within the document, and it will crop the uh, the image uh, with the table from the original document, and it will send to the uh, Vision backend not entire page, but it will send only that. Uh, uh, table. This uh, will improve data extraction by far because for the vision backend there will be no need to process entire document. It will focus only on the table and fetch data from the table. And in some cases when uh, maybe model returns uh, response which is not validated correctly against the query but you know that uh, response is correct, uh, you can disable that with the validation of flag. And by the way, when we if we, let's say, uh, query for, for the star, this means we want to fetch all data, then we depend, depend on uh, vision uh, backend to construct the response. So in this case, we don't run any validation because then we rely on the vision backend, whatever response will come out, and we don't do any validation in that case. Another option, crop size. Uh, this is useful when uh, you have a document and uh, there's a lot of space, empty space in, in the left, right, top and the bottom. And I, not, I noticed that if we crop uh, the page to make it a uh, smaller dimension and when we send this smaller page to the vision backend, then uh, often the response can be uh, of better quality instead of uh, sending a document with the larger dimension, even there are just spaces on, on, on the borders. So for that reason, crop size is being uh, properties included. Sparrow key, uh, as I mentioned, now we got a free, free tire, and uh, if you don't provide Sparrow key, then you got uh, uh, to execute Sparrow three times per, per six hours, just to to see uh, what kind of the response it's it's producing and if it works for your use case or not. Then Vision LLM, uh, in the previous version, it was not possible to select any option here. It was uh, just one uh, Q12 uh, 72 billion parameters model. Now this is a standard model, uh, which is reliable, fast, and uh, it's, it's good for most of the use cases. This is based on the Mistral uh, small 3.1 uh, model with 8-bit quantization. And uh, another one is advanced model. Uh, which runs uh, Q12 72 billion <coughs> uh, model with 4 bit quantization. I noticed that very often uh, Mistral, uh, this default option works very well. Maybe in some uh, special cases, uh, Q12.5 72 billion parameter model uh, would produce better result. But uh, based on my, my test, mo most of the time the standard model will do a good job as well. There are examples uh, that you could select, and uh, if you don't want to execute inference, but you just want quickly to see a sample document like this and what kind of data is be it's being returned from Sparrow, then you can uh, select the example like this bank statement, uh, bonds table like you saw, and this lab results. Document sample document and sample results. And this information about the uh, free tire and uh, limitation and uh, the thing that you could contact me if, uh, for any consulting work uh, based on Sparrow and so on. So then I would like to summarize uh, that uh, with this release it runs on my local machine, Mac Mini M4 Pro. And I'm waiting when uh, NVIDIA DGX uh, Spark will be available for purchase, and I'll buy that as well. And I'll make um, Sparrow compatible with NVIDIA platform, and then we'll run um, Sparrow instance on NVIDIA machine as well. And hopefully uh, this will give performance boost, because currently on Mac Mini it's not as fast. But at the same time, I don't want to buy Mac Studio, because I'm waiting for uh, NVIDIA DGX Spark machine to, uh, to be able to 
uh, make Sparrow compatible with NVIDIA platform as well. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or feedback, uh, leave a comment here, send me email, or uh, send me a message on X, for example, or, or, or on LinkedIn. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.